general reading so it may not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just toss aside the rest of it if ever you do have any questions you would like to have some information or you'd like a reading you can contact me all my information is in the description box also if you have not yet uh, subscribed to the channel please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance um, this is a channeled reading with your past loved ones and I call heaven so we're speaking about angels and spirit guides and we're talking about your loved ones okay so here are some messages that they have for you some warnings something you need to check out onto your path and maybe you need to modify so let's begin I have four messages and then I'm going to conclude with a guide card for you so I have denial I have doubt I also have friendship and I have relationships so let's begin over here with denial this is about acknowledging your fear but replacing it with the insight of awareness it is time to open up and to be completely honest with yourself right now at this present moment buried fears and resentments do not die they merely fester and they cause what we could call disease only by bringing them to the surface and examining them in the light of day will love and compassion will you banish them from your life it may bring you pain it may bring you also some heartache to reflect upon these situations again but you are only giving them power by suppressing them so the dangerous seeds here of denial will grow and spread and manifest unless you go and uproot them so you need to examine them you need to release them and this is the only way to become whole and healthy learn not to bury painful emotions in the first place and deal with them as they come and then take all of the time you need to neutralize them without hiding them your soul wants to live honestly and authentically into the now don't hinder it by placing any emotional landmines on its path now let's move on over to your following message which is doubt I release the need to know all of the answers it's impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe you are only consciously aware of the three dimensions for a reason and that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit everyone has his or her own personal path to this awareness and there is a no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and the energy of compassion now the wisdom of the divine it kind of trickles into the physical dimension and some of it it will resonate with your soul and some simply will not these are your signposts and they your signposts that guide you to your correct path now if the wisdom resonates with you and it seems right then keep it and if not release it back to the universe always be aware and be mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers are putting onto your path there are signposts all over the place often we just don't see them friendship I understand that a friend in my life is there for a reason all humans are created from the same source but there are some souls that share a unique kinship friendship can be the most exciting and beautiful experience on earth but it can also be frustrating and heartbreaking understand that everyone in your path is here to teach you something and it may be for a year or it may be for a lifetime together we will teach each other various lessons of the heart such as trust and love and loyalty and admiration the bonds of friendship are often stronger than those of family you have formed a bridge a bridge of understanding between the two of you that has stood the test of time and of lifetimes 
a true friend is going to illuminate your path instead of dimming it. He or she is going to give you advice with your best interest at heart. To be able to communicate at a soul level with another human being is the biggest treasure of this physical dimension. And to conclude, we have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. In this three-dimensional world in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another and also that we met by chance. And this, let me tell you, is completely an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in our life, you must see what is not resolved or whole into the person and understand the lessons that he or she brings home to you. You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have close relationships with here on earth are usually members of your soul family. So, you've chosen to inter incarnate together to help each other learn lessons. Even though it may not seem that way to you right now, once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person simply fades away. People are in your life for a reason, they're there for a season, or they might even be there for a lifetime. And to conclude, let's go with your guide card. Possess self-confidence. No one knows you better than you know yourself. Living your life trying to fulfill the expectations of others is disregarding your soul's blueprint. As you contemplate this message, think to yourself, I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. And when you have a strong sense of self, then, you know what, you're going to be sure of yourself and you're going to be fully understanding the choices that you make. Understanding your choices and acting on them also involves accepting the consequences. If it can become so easy to blame others for your woes and if you allow them to influence you, you must learn to trust yourself enough so that you can access the wisdom within your soul because it belongs to you. You are the receptacle of the wisdom and the guidance that is unique to your soul's path. So have the confidence to put it into action. You are a courageous soul for choosing to come back into this dimension of illusion and limitation. So channel that courage right now that you are here. And don't miss the opportunity that the guides have strewn onto your path by following in someone else's footsteps. Never, ever, ever lose the courage of your own convictions. And that does conclude your beautiful hope that you enjoyed i do hope that um you're going to be able to use these uh, messages and apply them into your journey if you have any questions you'd like a reading you know where to contact me please don't forget to subscribe have yourself a beautiful day many blessings and we will see each other tomorrow with a new message